Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. So today we're going to look into the Z Classic hard fork. It recently just moved over to Equihash 192.7 to alleviate some of the difficulty on the network as far as mining is concerned. We're going to look into the wallets we can use, miners, we'll look into the price and what you can expect to make in a 24 hour period. A little bit about myself, I've been in the cryptocurrency space for nearly two years now. Do a lot of speculative coin mining, compare different GPUs and miners. I have a profit switching contest called Miner Cup that I do every few months. And I do Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. Let's get into it. All right, so Z Classic hard fork. Let's go over to Twitter real quick. I just highlighted something here on the 17th, which was just a few days ago now. Z Classic Bulletin, September 2019. Implementation of 192.7 makes ASIC mining theoretically impossible. So sometime, not quite sure, sometime evening, September 16th, early September 17th, Z Classic successfully forked over to Equihash 192.7 to combat the rising difficulty on their network. Let's go over to their Bitcoin talk, just briefly go over it. Uh, this has obviously been out for since November 2016, almost three years now. Z Classic has been out. Initially had no pre mine and no 20% founder's fee. Things I liked about it. The halving rate every four years, same as Zcash and Bitcoin. Very low supply of 21 million, always like that. Scroll down a little bit here. Note from the developer, I started this work on my own, writing Medium articles and reaching out to people on the Twitter because I believe the ZK Snark technology in Zcash is the future of money. But I couldn't stomach the idea of it being taxed 20% by a small group of people. So in a nutshell, that's basically why the developer got away from the original Zcash. And let's head over to their site, Z Classic Community Edition. Z Classic is a digital coin that uses zero knowledge proofs to enhance privacy and transactions. It also allows selective transparency. It is a Zcash fork, thus sharing a lot of the Zcash features. It utilizes the Equihash algorithm and proof of work mining but it does not retain any of the founders reward like in the case of zcash so in a nutshell that is z classic i have never mined this myself i just recently heard about the hard fork so i said well let me hop on it and see how to mine it and it's actually going pretty well so speaking of mining let's get into how to mine it here is their actual wallet over there on a github I did not download and install this myself, but if you want to, they've got the Windows right here and the Mac version as well. I'm sure it's just a pretty easy step-through-step -step process, but I've got a lot of these separate wallets on my various rigs. So I go with Zellcore right here, which supports Z Classic. Uh, it's a multi-coin wallet. It's got over 100 different coins you can Put into the wallet and that's why I chose it to save space on my computer so let me pull up Zellcore and here we are and as you can see they got Z Classic right here let me click on it right now I've been mid mining it almost 24 hours right now so this is what I've been paid I've got some on a pool this price right here is not correct 23 cents we'll show you the price here in a bit so that actually 98 cents is a pretty good amount higher so what you're going to need obviously to mine it z classic is you're going to click receive and there's your address right there you just go ahead and says click to copy you just click on it and it will copy the address for you quick question like i always do in every video have you ever mined z classic type a yes or no down below be interested to know your guys answer to that question all right so let's move on the miner we're going to be using is going to be G Miner. 
and the latest version 1.65 here's the windows version you can use this for both amd and nvidia which is nice so i have a windows rig so you just click that download it to your rig computer whatever you happen to be using and i have my nvidia rig right here and this is the miner going right here so let me pull up the actual folder i have it in so you download it unzip it i put it in its own folder like i always do g minor 165z classic so let's go into there and I created my own run.bat file, which is right here. And I will show you that. And let me move this over here a little bit. So this bat file will be down below. The only thing you'll need to edit is your wallet address, which we just got over here from Zellcore. You would put that under right here under user, which I am using mining pool hub which is right here and Money Pool Hub uses basically your login name. So that's why it says Ritz a million and the rig identifier is right there, dot NVIDIA rig. Your actual wallet address would go right here where the Ritz a million is, or you could use Money Pool Hub and just use your login username. Rig identifier, you can leave that blank if you want. That's totally up to you. If you would like to change your mining pool, here is a list of mining pools that you can use. I'm on Mining Pool Hub. Yes, it's at the top. Usually I like to spread around the hash rate a little bit, but it's still spread around pretty, pretty good. So I stuck with Mining Pool Hub because I am familiar with it and have been using it for going on two years now, pretty much ever since I started mining crypto. So again, if you want to change the mining pool you can right there but definitely going to want to change your user to your wallet address once you are done you're going to click file save as again this bad file will be down below just take that information paste it into a notepad file and once you get it configured the way you want your pool set up and your wallet you're just going to go into here and save it i'm going to save it run one you can call it whatever you want doesn't matter just make sure it's a dot BAT file, otherwise it will not work. So click save. Let me close out of that. And there is the file we just created. So let me go over to the miner, click close and double click on that file we just created and the miner will pull up, see what kind of cards we have and it should start mining away. There we go. Tells you the cards we got and do a little tuning and it should be away and mining. So let's head back over to Mining Pool Hub. And if we scroll down, here is Z Classic right there. So we're going to click on Z Classic, click on Dashboard, and it'll show you your hash rate right there. And you can click on Workers, and there's where your rig identifier comes into play, NVIDIA Rig. So let me go back over to the Dashboard. And this is my 24 hour average right now, which is 5.77Z Classic. Now, before this hard fork, I would have gotten like 0.001Z Classic in the 24 hour period. So, since it's hard forked, a lot of people are able to mine Z Classic again, which is a good thing. So, let's go ahead and look into the actual price now. Here we are on Coin market cap price dot three one nine. Let me refresh that, and we're sitting at thirty two cents per Z Classic right now. So it's got a nice little uptick at the end. It's got a very good upside. If it ever gets back to that, it would be very nice. One hundred ninety three dollars, I think, it was pretty close to its high, and the actual it looks like it was probably maybe over two hundred dollars at one point in the last bull run, but. Will we ever get back to that? I don't know. We can zoom in. It's been kind of bouncing around in here here recently. It's been as high as 39 cents, it looks like. High Satoshi value right there on the 44 cent part. So it's got a definite upside. Now, whether it will hit that, I don't know. But only time will tell. I'm going to mine this coin like I've been mining Expanse. And I'm just going to build my bags up now that I can after the hard fork. So let's go ahead and check out how much we can make in a 24 hour period. Again, over here on Miner Stat, it's a pretty good place to go and check mining profitability. I'm getting about 101 hashes on that rig, 405 watts. Pool fee, it's actually 0.9%. So I can put 0.9 in there. 
kilowatts is 0 0.0925 per kilowatt hour. Just click calculate. And it's 7.37 right now it's saying. That's because the difficulty is bouncing around. $1.47 profit right now. Grossing 236. So let's head over to what to mine. Here is my NVIDIA rig already populated. So let's calculate right here. And if we scroll down, the most profitable coin right now is Ryo at $1.79 gross or 83 cent take home. So $1.47 take home after power or 83 cent take home after power. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the $1.47 take home. And as you can see, what to mine doesn't always have the coins, especially after hard forks and things like that, new coins coming out. So you usually, it's usually pretty good for determining the profitability of coins. But as you can see, right after this hard fork, if you're one out there that's wanting to mine and sell, this is probably a coin you're going to want to get on and mine and sell. As for me, I'm going to mine and hold for a long time because I think it's got some upside in the long term. But hey, if you got to pay your rigs up, you got to pay electricity costs, you can jump on this right now and start doing that. $2.36 gross as compared to the next best thing of $1.79 gross. What is that, like 50 Six fifty-seven cents higher than the next closest coin. So Z Classic right now is pretty hot after the fork. And we can scroll down here. You can see this black line right here is going to be your difficulty. And you can see it bounces around and it just was up here somewhat recently. Let's go to the one day. And you can see at the very end there, it took a big dip, which is why the Z Classic amount of reward you get has gone up and so has the profitability. But it bounces around pretty much in here, pretty close to that. I think the lowest profit you'll get is about 90 cents here in the last 24 hours, which is still better than anything over here on what to mine. So yes, that is Z Classic after the hard fork, guys. Be sure to go ahead and hop on it and mine away. I would, I am. If you guys would like to look at additional mining tutorials, I got a link coming up here in a second at the end of this video. Be sure to go ahead and check that out. Got over a hundred videos in that list. You can find what coin you want to mine and start mining away. Any questions or comments, put it down below. I will always get back to you. I really enjoy interacting with you guys and answering any questions that you may have. I want to thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you think somebody would enjoy this video or would want to get on Z Classic and start mining it. Make sure you share that with them. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.